Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Matrix here. Today the cross camo glitch got released, I have uploaded uh, the glitch already. Uh, go to my channel and see this video if you want to have the full tutorial on how to do the cross camo glitch. But in this video I will show you how to get the blueprints, unreleased and released blueprints, and how to do double riot or double of any gun on one loadout. As you can see I have two KSP reactive weapons here in one loadout which is uh, pretty cool as well. But I'm gonna start uh, with a quick tutorial, actually with how to do the cross camo glitch, uh, and I'm gonna start that right now. Now we go into the transfer glitch. Um, we need, step one is that you need a older phone, kind of older, not the newest, so to say, so you can root your phone. Because we need to start, we need to interrupt our connection with a leg switch. And to get the leg switch application working on your phone, we need to root our phone first. So there is a million videos on YouTube on how to root any phone, basically. I use the Samsung Galaxy X5 as I, I use Android phones, and I've rooted my phone. Then I have downloaded a leg switch, the Netcut Pro, or Ar archives.com Pro. This is the one. But you can just simply go into Play Store and type in leg switch application or type in netcut application and you can find any one you want to use. So with this method you only need this lag switch and you don't need to open up 20,000 YouTube videos to cause lag on your inter internet connection. That's way too much hassle and very annoying method to use. Just use this lag switch method on your phone and you're good to go. Step two is to jump into plunder with a gun with a camo uh, on top of it like um, the QBC, for example, I've used here a Cold War gun with the Ultra on it, and we're going to swap that to a Modern Warfare gun, and I'm going to show you it, how to swap Damascus, for example, uh, to a, a Cold War gun, a model from Modern Warfare to Cold War. So, uh, also, in any um, loadout that you select, make sure you have a lethal that you can kill yourself with, as that is one of the steps in the glitch. So, we're going to start a plunder now, and then I'll show you the glitch, guys. So, we are in plunder now, and I'm going to show you how to cross camo uh, using the leg switch to any gun. So, we have the QBC uh, Cold War weapon here with DM Ultra on it, and we're going to cross it to a Modern Warfare gun of our choice. Let's say we're going to cross it to the AX-50 Sniper. So, all we need to do is now uh, look at the right. So, um, I'm going to start the, net, the Netcut leg switch like this. Now, we have lag. You see it by the footage. We are lagging. We're going to change our gun up to any gun, it doesn't matter, so just change it to gun. So the QBC, the primary gun I've changed. Now we're going to stop lag switch like this. And then once we are good again in the game, it's still lag switching. Now we are good, yes. Now we're going to kill ourselves simply with a frag grenade or a molotov or whatever. And once we spawn back, now we can select the gun we wanted to cross the camo to. So, once we have spawned back, and that's why you need to play in solos, because you spawn back directly. Open up your loadout, go to edit, then go to the gun you want. In this case, I'm going to do it to the AX-50. I selected a AX-50, and look at the AX-50. It has DM Ultra on it. A Modern Warfare gun with DM Ultra on it. Super cool glitch, and actually super easy. The hardest part of this glitch is basically to get a lag switch application on your phone. So that is how to do it. So, okay, now you understand how to do the cam cross camo uh, glitch. We can do this to blueprints as well. And we know that there is a KSP reactive. It, it has just uh, been released in the, in the store, but you don't have to pay for it. No, you can just use this glitch for it, which is awesome. So well, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pre-select these weapons. Uh, one of them is the KSP, like I said, and then I'm gonna pre-select the stoner to get the stoner motorbike. So, I'll show you these two to show you how to do the blueprints. So, we have jumped into Plunder and uh, always do this in solos. And uh, we're going to do these blueprints. Um, I'm going to say to you as well, if you uh, start a leg switch and you change gun, but you see that your loadout will change next time, then that means it, the glitch didn't work and you have to do, redo the process. Select a particular gun that you wanted to glitch out and start over again. Because sometimes it doesn't work right away or sometimes um, like the lag is not 
going 100% or something and the game actually recognizes that you are changing up a gun and it will tell you that it will change next time. So if you see that sign, it doesn't work, you need to redo the process. So now we're going to go uh, over the blueprints we got on the KSP and we want to get the reactive. Now I already know that the Kylo will give me the reactive camo, um, one of the Kylo blueprints or b for example the Orc, the Gallo, because all uh, weapons have variants and those have a number and I know that the Kylo Florentino or the Arc the Gallows is version 22 and I know that the KSP version 22 is the reactive camo so let's just uh, show you how to get any blueprint basically but um, with that information I'm going to share soon as well you can actually uh, search uh, way more efficient than doing this power method. You think this is this is false, but there's a method. You can just look at the sheet that I've made, and you see exactly which gun you have, uh, which will give you the blueprint that you want. So just let's start with the blueprint. It's a lot of information, I know, guys, but um, we'll have to start somewhere. We're going to start a leg switch, as you did with... Um, the thingy uh, with the cross camo thing and now we're just simply gonna change the gun where we think of that uh, that will give us our variant and I already know of course I will select the Kylo and then I'm gonna uh, stop the lag switch again so now we're gonna wait till we are good in the game again yes the game is smooth we're gonna kill ourselves and uh, once we killed ourselves, then we're gonna scroll through the blueprints of the Kylo to see which one will give us the reactive one. It will give you a lot of uh, blueprints, but in this case, we are searching for the reactive one because that is one of the coolest ones. So we're gonna edit Kylo, we're gonna go to blueprints, and let's see what happens with the Berliner. So it gave us this red one, this uh, red kind of, uh, I don't even know what the name of this one is. But you can keep changing, if you do it quick, uh, you can keep changing for a while. So now it gave me the tape deck, which is a pretty cool one as well. And that came out of the Kylo, let's see, the battle tested, that gave me the tape deck. Now we're going to the Florentino. Uh, you see, uh, after a while we can't change guns anymore, so now you just simply kill yourself. I already changed to the Florentino, so it will give me the KSP reactive once I uh, spawn again. And this is all 100% guaranteed because all versions relate to each other. And I just know Florentino is version for version 22 and the KSP reactive is version 22. And so it will give me the reactive. And this is the reactive camo of the KSP. That is how you find uh, blueprints. Um, the thing is, you got to have these uh, versions. So if you don't have version 22 of the Kylo, if you don't have version 22 of the Orc, uh, then you can't get the, the KSP, but probably another weapon, you do have uh, version 22 of another blueprint weapon. So you got to know which weapons are all the version 22 weapons. And I've made a sheet with a list of guns that was given to me two months ago, uh, where a lot of versions are on. So you can see directly which version will give you which blueprint. But nonetheless, you can power search for any blueprint in the game. In this case, I know already what gives me the motorbike, so I'm going to start the leg switch, just to give you another example that it relates to uh, version 15 of any gun in the game. So I've started the power switch, and I'm going to change this up to the Uzi, as I know that the Uzi will give me that weapon. So first select the default weapon, then uh, turn off your leg switch, once you see that the game is acting normal again and you don't have lag anymore, now you can kill yourself. And once I kill myself, then we can go uh, swapping through the blueprints, or uh, go searching through the blueprints in the Uzi variant. And one of the Uzis will give me the motorbike. So one of the Uzi variants will give me the motorbike variant. And I got a few here. I'm going to show the blowback first. It will give me the, this golden version. I don't know the name of this uh, stoner version. And like I said, if you are quick, you can uh, search quite a lot of blueprints and what comes out of it. All glitters will give me this green version. Um, 
I want to try shooting if, uh, to see if it's tracers, but if I shoot you, I have to kill yourself again, so I'll quickly move over to uh, Glacial Polish and Glacial... Oh, well, I was too late because you can only do this for half a minute or so. Go through, through the blueprints. I was too late uh, with the swapping there. But I know if, if you select Glacial Polish on the Uzi, relating to the stoner, it will give you the motorbike, as you guys can see right here. So this one gives me the motorbike and uh, basically every version 15 of any gun will relate to the stoner version 15 which is the motorbike. So last but not least I'm going to show you guys how to get double riots and uh, I do this uh, with my way. I think this is the fastest, the best way or for me at least the best way working. I've selected two guns, two blueprints that give me other uh, riot blueprints. Um, on the secondary, I got the flood, the MP5 flood diamond, and on the primary gun, I got the Amex Enigma with DM Ultra selected. What I'll do, I'll start with the secondary weapon first and turn that over to a diamond uh, riot shield. So this is very easy. We do basically the same as the cross camo. We're going to start the leg switch. As soon as we see that the leg switch is working, we're going to change up this gun to any gun. It doesn't matter. We're going to turn off the leg switch, we're going to see if the game is functioning again, and then we're going to kill ourselves. Once we have killed ourselves, we simply going to select a riot shield, and then we have the riot seal shield with diamond. Basically, you are uh, cross-copying the diamond camo to the riot shield right here. So, hold on, yes, we're going to go to the riot shield, and then you'll see that we have the riot with diamond. So, we have selected that. And now comes the, comes the more tricky part. It's not really tricky. You just got to know what you need to do. Now we're going to get a uh, right shield on the primary weapon as well. So you see that in the loadout we have a right shield in the secondary. Now we're going to do it to the primary weapon. And for this we basically have to do the same as the cross camo glitch. But we have to do one more step. We're going to change our uh, overkill to ghost. Uh, while we do the leg switch, that makes the th the game think that we still have overkill, uh, but we changed it to ghost, but we still have overkill. So we're gonna uh, start the leg switch. We're gonna go to the loadout and first change the gun up because this is a blueprint and we want to have a, a blueprint uh, shield. Then we're going to the perks and we're gonna change it to ghost. For example, uh, as long as you take it off overkill while you are in the leg switch then we're going to turn on the leg switch and once the game is functioning again normally then we're going to kill ourselves and now because we have changed overkill to another perk while we were leg switching we are able to select a, a melee riot uh, but the game because the game thinks that you still have low, um, the overkill perk and now we can select that riot, it will show as of we have ghost. So if you turn uh, to ghost and you have two uh, uh, overkill weapons, the secondary always changes to a pistol, right? A secondary weapon. But because the game thinks it is still in over, uh, it turned to ghost, it shows a pistol, but you do still have a riot shield. It's a bit confusing maybe, but I'll show you right now. We got a riot on the first, and we got a riot on the second class. So I'll drop the riots to show you. We got a DM Ultra riot, and we got a diamond riot right there. And that is how you get uh, riot shields. And you got, you see, this is a specific blueprint on it. That is why I selected the Enigma uh, on the Amex and the MP5 flood. This is the the one with the, the red and and gold version blueprint. Uh, I forgot the name of the actual thing, but of the actual riot shield blueprint. But nonetheless, this is how you get double riots. And I'll show it in game as well, uh, in the menu as well, I mean. And there's one more very important thing you gotta know. You can't save blueprints as they don't have, uh, you can't save riot shields if, as they don't have attachments. So knives, for example, uh, you cannot uh, save them as guns. Uh, because they don't have attachments. But any other gun that you have unlocked, like the KSP that I just have unlocked, make sure to go to Gunsmith 
uh, if needed, take off um, like things because because of the glitch. Sometimes it doesn't show certain parts of the gun, so you can take that off all and then save it as a blueprint. Once you click uh, on L2 on PlayStation, in my case, I have to delete a weapon because my blueprints are full. Uh, but you can save all your weapons up, and uh, for example, the stoner. Maybe I can try and see if I can take off this and take off the barrel and it starts to appear as it is, should be and then you can save it well also I can not save it right now because I already saved so many blueprints but if you press L2 you can save any blueprint Cold War weapon or Modern Warfare weapon this was the full thing guys long video uh, there's no way around it because there's so many things to explain about this glitch I hope you guys can find blueprints. I will uh, share this uh, sheet with you guys of all the versions of the guns that I have. So you can even uh, uh, find blueprints quicker that way. Thanks for watching. It's Matrix. And as always, make sure to drop a like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe if you are new. It's Matrix. I'm out. Ciao.